Good morning, team. Four weeks and counting, but then again, nobody's counting, I know. This morning, I want to share a passage with you from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17. It's verses 7 and 8, where it reads, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green, and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. There's three different pieces of that passage, of that metaphor that I want to underscore for you as you head into your week. The first is that image of a tree planted by a stream, rooted by living water. I hope that you can identify with that personally. Each one of us, by nature of our faith in Jesus Christ, is a tree rooted by a stream that has unlimited resource and refreshment for us personally. I hope you can also think of Monta Vista Christian School with that image of a tree rooted in the right place, that biblical foundation that our school has been based on for 96 years. We too are a tree collectively rooted by streams of living water. The second piece of the passage I want to point out is what it says about heat and drought, right? It says that um, it does not fear when heat comes and is not anxious in the year of drought. So that tells me in the metaphor, and certainly it can resonate, I think, with each one of us, that the trials will come. The year of drought and the heat are to be expected. Um, When they come, we need not be shocked and horrified and wonder what went wrong, but rather know to expect that this is part of the path process, part of the journey. Um, And again, I think that each one of us as individuals in our own unique personal lives can identify with that. And certainly we as a school have gone through those times of heat and times of drought when it hasn't been as easy as maybe other times of rain and plenty. And third and finally in the metaphor, I want to underscore that the leaves stay green and that the tree does not cease to bear fruit. And I want to encourage you that uh, that doesn't happen because of something external that the tree does, right? The tree doesn't, um, you know, make some kind of move to protect itself from the drought or the tree doesn't um, have a tarp thrown over it to protect it from the heat. The passage doesn't say it explicitly, but we know by nature of the metaphor, the way the tree keeps green leaves and the way the tree keeps bearing fruit is from that underground source of water, of nourishment, of life. And that's the same thing for you and I. The drought will come, the heat gets turned up, but as a tree planted by living water, we don't have to take action in and of ourselves. We need only to pull up through our roots that living water and that support and love and comfort and um, faithful promise that God gives us in and through his word. So go into your week encouraged by that, knowing that we are rooted in the right place, that the heat and the drought will come, but that green leaves and fruit are promised to us, not through our own accomplishments, but through the stream of living water that replenishes us over and over again. Have a great week, everybody.